Well, that's not terrifying. Hey YouTube, we're doing a haul today. It is technically my Christmas haul. I know, I know it's January. It might actually be February. <laughs> Better late than never, right? It's, it's a Disney haul. It does happens to be my Christmas haul. I got spoiled again. <laughs> my dad and my husband, the sweetest, best enablers a girl could ask for. <laughs> and it is in classic Shannon fashion. We're gonna start with the gifts my dad spoiled me with. My dad is a gift giver. My dad is a generous man. My dad is where my love of Disney comes from. Dad did good. <laughs> dad did good. All right, we're gonna start with my gym shore. I'm gonna get this one out of the way because it's gonna hurt. It hurts me. It's gonna hurt you. I know, I'm sorry. It's right here. It's the pits, ain't it? <laughs> I'm staying positive, actually, because I think it's quite a clean break. I haven't Googled this yet. Do you have a recommendation on what to use on these resin figures for glue? Leave me a comment if you know how to help me rescue this piece. It's Donald and Daisy with mistletoe. I don't have to cry. I'm gonna fix it, and I'm just adding it to my collection. This is an older piece. The number on it is a 401 something. Mistletoe moment, yeah, 401, blah, blah, blah. There's nothing like the old Jim Shore. The details in the faces, it's just the intricacy. Like, there is not an angle where a detail was skipped. That is why I like these older pieces. So dad, we're gonna rescue it. It's gonna be okay. Oh, cute, so cute. How many times do I say I'm not a Mickey girl? I'm a Donald girl. And Daisy. Yas, sass queen. Okay, gotta put it down, because I can't believe how long I've been holding up a broken gym shore. Oh, it hurts, it hurts, I know, it hurts. I'm staying positive. It's gonna, we're gonna be okay. <laughs> All right, gift number one from dad. Gift number two, brace yourself for the vintage. What do we have here? It is uh, a nightlight. And yes, it works. I plugged it in right before the video. This thing is ugly. <laughs> I'll just say it. There are two kinds of ugly when it comes to vintage. There's, oh my God, that is hideous. I love it. And then there's, oh my God, that's hideous. Let's pretend that never happened. <laughs> This is hideous. I love it. I'm keeping it because whoop, this is what I want in my Disney Museum. So I did a quick search before the video, late 70s, 80s. It does say um, Walt Disney Productions. It's so cute. So while simultaneously being so hideous. I love it. Now we're going to move on to the next item dad got me. And this falls into that hideous category that I'm like, no, no. <laughs> Don't be mad at me, Dad. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. Oh, my God. These are from 1997. Beauty and the Beast had a Beauty and the Beast Enchanted Christmas. Can you see that? Enchanted Christmas. I am still actually on the fence about keeping these or not. I don't, I don't like looking at them. <laughs> so not hideous, I love it, hideous, <laughs> Especially this, like this picture of Belle and Beast. That's not cute to me. Yeah, I do not like that depiction of Belle. That's not cute. But like, this is what I think. If it's from the 70s, I just love it. It might be hideous, but I love it. The 80s, 90% is hideous and I love it. Now we're in the 90s and this is 97. So I feel like maybe because it's not old enough, I cannot appreciate. This doesn't scream vintage to me. This screams, why didn't someone put it in the garbage can? All that trash talk to say, I'm gonna keep them. They won't be displayed 
but I am going to keep them. Uh, and then the other thing is, and my dad knows this, which is why I'm so openly talking trash on one of his gifts, that I'm a reseller and I have two booths actually. I just got a second booth, yay me, uh, and this stuff sells. So I could, you know, put them on eBay or put them in the booths, but I'm optimistic, I'm hopeful. In another 10 years, I might be looking at it the way I look at the stuff from the 70s and the 80s. God, if my husband were home right now, he would get nauseous. He'd be like, so we're just gonna keep it for 10 more years? And he wouldn't even have a question mark on that because he just knows the answer is yes. <laughs> so, dad, swing and a miss. <laughs> And apologies if I got Disney fans out there in the YouTube verse that own those and love those. This, this, your personal preference, friend. Good for you. Not for me. All right. End of trash talk. Let's look at something else Dad bought me. I can barely contain myself. See, this is why he goes out and shops for me. Like last year, I lost my marbles over a old school Toy Story Woody and Jessie doll. And they're not even the original Thinkway. They were just in great condition. I think they're from Toy Story 2. But I was just so happy to have them in my collection. So I know my dad is like, you, don't, you just don't know. You don't know what she's gonna like. And I, I understand, I'm wicked picky. I pity anyone who tries to buy me Disney because I mean, my husband figured this out. He only buys stuff that is directly off of my wish list. Anyway, a little bit of debate that is from the 70s or the 80s. Made in the US, Aladdin. Made in Tennessee. Tin. No thermos. I actually came across this lunchbox this summer when my husband and I went to the coast for my birthday. I have a haul for that too. This was a hundred bucks at that Disney shop I went to. It was 30% off, but still $70. No, I think my pop said he picked it up for 10 bucks. You guys, it's in pristine condition. Okay, it's an excellent vintage condition. You'll see, there's just barely anywhere, barely any dents. Like, look at that. Here's a tiny, tiny bit of wear right back here. But look, it's not all rusted up. I have one other vintage lunchbox and that guy is just beat up, all rusty. Look at this guy. Oh, did I show you the inside? Look at that. That's what I meant when I said, she looks amazing. That's why I said pristine. I was like, oh, look at that. Dad, dad killed it, didn't he? Go look this up on eBay. Anywhere from 50 to $150 in good condition upwards of that. There have a couple on there right now that are in great condition with the thermos that are floating around $500. It doesn't bother me at all that I don't have a thermos because now I've got a really cool collection of, I've got two different lunch boxes and I have one thermos that's um, Ludwig von Drake. So I'm, I love this. I love the way my collection is shaping up. All right, so what did dad do next? All right guys, weigh in, are they from the 80s? Maybe the 90s, I'm not sure. I, I don't think they're that old because of this tag, which says made in China. So these I think are a good example of, I think they're hideous, but it's the kind of hideous I want in my collection. <laughs> Sorry guys, ran out of memory, you know how it is. The hideous but I love them stockings. <laughs> yeah, they're just that cheap flimsy material. Yeah, dad swung and this one hits. So good job, dad. What next, what next? Oh, the last two items I got from dad. These hit. Books. Vintage books. 
late 70s. This one might even be the late 60s. The copyright says 1968, and it has the record in it. The books are in great condition. Again, just fantastic vintage condition. The art is, you know how I feel about the art. You see Mickey with the pumpkins there. About to be devoured by the giant. Look at our little tailor, just working away. But do you see what I'm saying? The pages aren't bent up, there's no water damage. Mickey and Minnie carousel with the king. So dad, you did so good. Just even opening it, page one. These pages are crisp. Nobody came along and busted the spine open. Iconic Bambi thumper and flower. <laughs> Dad, this is perfect. I love these old heart. This is my favorite book. Walt Disney's Wonderful World of Reading. Case in point, how many do I have right here? Cinderella, DuckTales, Dalmatians. My most recent find. This pile is <laughs> a different haul altogether. So yeah. Thanks, Dad. Okay, so does that sum up what I got from Pop? Yes. We have two more items, and they're both for my husband. He did exceptional this year because I got his Christmas presents for me, for him. And he got a new job, and he's so busy. So busy. So, yes, I took on the burden of getting my own Christmas presents. Upside? He killed it! <laughs> this shape box makes me very happy. Are you ready? Do you guys know this? Do you recognize the characters? Disney short. 2012 paper man is what it's called you know being a disney fan i remember watching it years ago and i fell in love it is on canvas it's 20 inches by 10 inches but yeah i discovered this let's see 2019 that's how long she's been on my wish list i've been going to shop disney Making sure it's still there, making sure it's still there. I did ask for this last year and didn't get it. You can't complain when you're as spoiled as I am, but. Did you guys watch this short? I made Seth watch it uh, so he could be a little bit more involved with the gift he got me for Christmas. And my husband is a romantic, so he loved it. Okay, I'm sure you already noticed this. I apologize, I do not want to take the plastic off yet. So, I'm trying to combat the glare here. You see that pop of color on her red lipstick and then right there on the airplane she's holding? That's the only pop of color on this black and white. Uh, signed by the artist, Michelle Saint, I don't know if it's Saint Laurent, Saint Laurent, Saint Laurent. If you're art fans, YouTube her. There's a YouTube video of her and she's sitting in front of a bunch of her work but there is a Maleficent piece. Oh, oh. The woman is talented. And then there was you. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. There's one more gift from the husband. And I apologize, you, you catch me looking in the viewfinder. I'm trying to make sure that I'm not blinding you with glare. Ah, ha, ha. Ah, ha, I love it! All right, guys, if I've thrown you for a loop in the past for collecting weird Disney stuff, this one will knock your socks off. <laughs> I'm pretty confident you've never seen this before. It's one of those weird Shannon acquisitions. I love it more and more, more and more. Are you ready? All right, so. <laughs> oh 
Who's going to say it? But you don't collect Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Let's be honest. That's not really Mickey Mouse. <laughs> And I love it. Go figure. That tracks. I feel like that tracks. Let's discuss. I came across this beauty this summer. One of my favorite antique shops. So of course I go up to it. What is going on with Mickey? Like that's not... Right, it's, it's interpretation and adaptation, a reimagining. But like, I didn't know how I felt about it. So I go home, I research it. I fell in love with the artist. If you guys like off the wall, something a little different, not run of the mill, go Google Howard Finster. I'm sure there are people who think uh, this dude lost his marbles. I'm sure some people think he's a nut. And who cares? Very well, he could have been. I found him very endearing and absolutely lovable. He has since passed away. He was also a Baptist minister, Baptist pastor. He felt called to spread the word, spread the gospel through his art. Now, I love the Lord, so that doesn't offend me one bit. <laughs> I also don't care that Disney is like beyond secular. Uh, so I just, it's so weird and unique. I'm like, are you ever gonna see anything remotely religious married with anything Disney? I don't need to see that. But it's unique! It's... That he might have done that print back in 1988. He has a ton of art out there. He did the album cover for R.E.M. I don't know which album. Uh, and also the Talking Heads. How dope is that? Album cover. I have since determined I don't think there's a ton of value. I don't have an original. Mine is a poster. But it is so stinking unique that I... Once I watched the interviews of Howard Finster, I was like, I have to go back out there and get this piece. But I waited. Christmas rolled around and my husband, I just knew the poor guy just wasn't gonna have time. I <laughs> took on the burden of getting myself my Christmas gifts. So I was like, do you wanna get me this piece of art? And he's like, do you want to get you that piece of art? Yes, I do. I love it. So weird, so weird. I don't anticipate it turning into highly sought after original Picasso or anything. I don't care. I love it. So my Christmas was amazing! <laughs> if this is your first time stopping by my channel, you got a good taste of what happens <laughs> in this neck of YouTube. I am a Disney collector. Wonderland shenanigans. This is my Wonderland. It is a, a work in progress. It's my museum. My Disney museum. And in that museum, you're gonna find new merch, you're gonna find old merch, you're gonna find books, Jim Shore, art, ornaments, this random nightlight. <laughs> I'm all over. So if the all over the place randomness doesn't scare you, stick around. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know if you have a favorite. I would love to know if you have heard of Howard Finster, if you have any Paper Man merch, uh, and if you've ever had to repair a gym, sure. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Actually, let's put her back in the box where she can stay safe.